Hello guys and welcome to my review on this, the Rodin 148 Gloucester Gladiator Mark II. So, as you can see on the box art here, it's got one of the decal options from the kit and it's quite simple. The Gladiator flying over a tank in a snowy background, so presumably Finland or something like that. Simple and effective. The way I like it. So first let's have a look at the instructions. Here they are. These have quite a lot of information about the plane. Obviously it's got the performance in three languages. Let's go up there. And it's a fair old right up so should be quite interesting. Um, over here we have the paint call outs several of them quite a lot of them really I've got the paints lined up over here, not all of them obviously but still got a few to go but they should be alright for the time being until I get them here we have the parts that aren't going to be used there and there but it seems all the rest should be so there we have them, them them not much here all the parts are going to be used so obviously a fuse large halves, lower and upper rings the cockpit and the rudders first instruction shows the engine cowl being built just three parts put together don't know yet if they need filler might do, might not and then they get painted and added to the rest of the engine some might be scared by that but Take your time, be easy. We have them two bits to go together, obviously that's a control panel. Um, here we have the wheels, which I'm not going to use because I'm doing an option with skids. And the cockpit. Obviously the seat and floor. Um, control levers and stuff. Not much really in there, but it will look good when it's finished. Here we have all the bits you'll find in the cockpit, your control panel, um, cockpit, actual part, all the canopies and windscreens you're going to use, and gun, all the bits you'll find in the cockpit most of the time. And then the upper portion of the wings, easy to assemble not much to it obviously it's just quite easy but don't need anything more hard than that here we have the skids I'm going to be using them for the one I'm going to build something a bit different I ain't built anything with skids before or I haven't built a bright paint before so it's too fast with this kit um, up here top halves of the wings nothing to them really down there, all the parts of the wings being put together, so top, bottom, the uprights, tailplane and rudder, along with the engine. Nothing much, quite easy really. Now on to the last two steps of the build, so it should be quite quick. The skids and the wheels that will be made redundant, exhausts, um, Obviously, the rear wheel here. Um, here we have the propellers for all the different types. Then, that's pretty much the plane built. So, over here, we have one of the schemes, RAF. Obviously, with the wheels, so I won't be building this one. Looks quite easy. Decals could be more common, but... You know, with a company, you can't always be happy, but another RAF scheme. Obviously, pretty much the same paints, not much to it. This one's Finnish Air Force. And this is not the one I'm going to do, actually, but I'd consider it if I got the kit again, because it does look quite nice. 
these are Swedish, I believe. Yes. Yep, these are Swedish ones. Obviously with the skids again, but I'm not doing these ones. Um, obviously the camo up here. The bottoms and the side. Not much to it. But here is the one I'm doing. I thought this one was quite interesting because it has this decal here. And that one. On the tail. Just to add a bit more... Um popularity to it I suppose you could say a bit more interest that's one um, not much decals are quite rare for this but can't as I say can't always get loads of decals then for the most dreaded part of the build the rigging um, I'm gonna try rigging it but if not I may leave it like it is or look up some tips and then give it another go in a week or two obviously that's more rigging down there loads of it but it'll look good once done obviously here we've got the decals the air force for finland and sweden RAF ones i'm going to be using um more that one looks quite interesting i didn't see that on the instructions before um, but there's not many, but then kits sometimes look overcrowded if there's too many, so not bad, quite good. Okay, so let's have a look at these parts. Here we have the skids, if I can get better lighting. There are the skids, not much to them, stick them together, bits of... The legs will go in there, see there, go on there, not much. Um, see these are parts of the cows for the engines on the first instruction, part of the engine. I think that's probably the seat. Exhausts here, up here more engine, um, propeller, yeah quite a lot of engine parts probably most for the whole thing but there we have another propeller for other parts not much to have really so here we have these ones just move them on um obviously that's the fuselage it's quite nicely molded I imagine some people would Say that's not 100% accurate, but for my standard, that's absolutely fine. Um, both sides look pretty nice. Down here, we have the wing parts. Obviously, that's the lower wing and the upper wing here. Um, obviously, I reckon these will probably be the struts for the legs, redundant wheels. This side doesn't show much more, just shows the underneath of the wings. Just the holes further in the rigging. Inside the cockpit, that um, mark can come out. Not much detail, but like I say, in my opinion, that's more than enough. And now for the glass. The only casualty was this one. That fell off when I opened the bag. Already rattling around, but seems to be okay. It's well, seems okay. If it will focus, the quality seems okay. Mm. This is the instrument panel, obviously, not much to it. A decal on the back, sandwich it with another piece of plastic, and there it is with a nice sort of glossy bit on the front for glass not much the canopy that might need to be shined up a bit but like i say my stuff generally not the best down here the two options for the windscreens if we swing them out that way oh well they there um okay 
You can see a difference. One's got beams right up the, from bottom to top. One's got a beam curving round, but not much. But this kit generally looks to be in quite a good shape. I'd say it's going to be quite easy to build, good mouldings, and well, don't think there'll be any major problems with it. So, thank you for watching. I will update you when I start building it. Thank you.